Hi, welcome to the ABCA video tip of the week sponsored by Volleyball One on One. I'm the owner, and um, I'm here with Trevor Johnson. We're super excited. Trevor was the NAIA Coach of the Year, and they won the national championship in his first year as a program. So I thought it would be really interesting to sit here and talk to him and understand how he had such phenomenal success with his players as well as a program for all you coaches out there. So Trevor, congratulations. That's a really good deal. Thank you. Um, you got the brass to show it. Um, but tell me a little bit about why you think you had that much success. Like, what did you do? Uh, I think the first thing that we had was uh, we had guys that bought into what we were trying to teach them. Um, we met with them once a week, and we talked from everything from academics to life. And uh, I felt like if we were invested in them, they'd be invested into our program. And uh, so it was a lot of more training off the court than on the court. And um, I felt like the guys bought in, and they were. When you 100%. say buy in, what is what is the buy in for you? What are they buying into? Yeah, so they're buying into not only me, but they're buying into what we're trying to instill in them. And so for us, volleyball is a small part of the big picture. And if I'm just worried about wins and losses, I'm, I'm missing the big picture. And I want to make sure that the guys they graduate on time and that they become men and uh, you know so we'll talk about how to be a good boyfriend <laughs> how, to, how to be a good husband you know and so that's wow. those are those are all life lessons that they need to know you know and so no one's ever really taught them like how to be that kind of man and then you know how to be a man on the court you know there's gonna be some issues where you're not going hard and you're gonna have to be you're gonna have to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations so you're gonna have to talk about conflict on the court and, and we'll talk about that, how to deal with it <laughs> so that things don't get festered up or build up but hey let's let's deal with it right now and then and you know when you deal with conflict you're gonna look someone in the eye and you're gonna be honest with them. So now the now it, you know you I've been here before and you know some of the things is this look in the eye really get connected with players and it seems like you know you are really involved. Share some of your ideas and how you do that successfully. Yeah, so we are, you know, obviously we're here all day long, but, um, you know, we, with those meetings, you know, we'll, we'll talk about, you know, just things in life in general. Um, but, you know, we, we want to make sure that they're having a great experience. Mm -hmm. And um, so part of the experience, not only on the court, but it's in the classroom. You know, I ask that they sit in the first two rows. Uh, you know, I, I want to make sure that they introduce themselves to the teachers because, you know, when it comes to grades, you know, yeah. professors sometimes they do have those favorites. And if you're the one answering questions as much as you can, and, you know, we're going to be gone for a while on a season trip, so I want to make sure that they're, you know, they know who we are as athletes. Now, do you think it, you had to do that more so because it was a first, first year program, or do you think that should be the norm for coaches? I think that should be the norm. I know with the NCAA, it's, you know, you have so many limitations of hours per week with them, and, um, you know, for us, it's, we have unlimited, so it's great, but, uh, yeah, I think you have to be able to meet with your players, and they have to know exactly what you're thinking, and you don't have to be fair or equal, but you have to be honest. Okay, last question, let's try and wrap it up quickly. Um, how do you think this relates to coaching women and do you think it's the same or different yeah I think it's even more so with oh the, interesting I think it's even more so with the women you know they uh, with the women it's, it's the power of the group and the, and you're now coaching the, the the women's team here so it's important sure. to understand that so it's the power of the group carry on it's the power of the group and uh, you, you know especially with girls they can get a little catty sometimes yeah. and so we're, we're we're trying to avoid that as much as we can and we'll talk about you know how to deal with conflicts and and uh, not let things fester for sure. And, and so we, part of the trust, having trust in the team, is you have to look someone in the eye and tell them, hey, this is what's going on. Or, hey, I didn't like how your effort was today. You know, sure. and uh, we can't sugarcoat things. And they have to know that it's coming from someone that cares about them. And it's not, you know, this, this girl is the, the bad girl on the team. It's, no, like, I want to win. And so to do that, here's what we have to do. And, and so, um, yeah, that's, that's been a huge part of this issue. Okay, uh, great information. I hope you take this to heart. Um, we're going to chat with Trevor about what he did with recruiting next, as well as we're going to have some other videos at Volleyball One on One. So make sure you check that out at the link below. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to share that exciting, interesting information. He did some really interesting things around recruiting, as well as how he ran his practices that we're going to be talking about next.